Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gon. In our today's video, we will talk about the standard form of linear equation in two variables. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So we have a previous video where, with regards to the illustration of standard form of linear equations. And I'm trying to remake a new video about this topic. So what we have here is the first form, ax plus by is equal to c. And this ax plus by is equal to c is your standard form. Standard form. Here's your standard form. We're in the two variables are the variable a, the variable x and y, and this a and b are coefficients while your letter c is a constant. And here, we have here another form which is y is equal to mx plus b in which this one is your slope intercept form. Okay, here y is equal to mx plus b, your y and x are the variables of the linear equation, your m is the slope, your b is for the y-intercept. This form is very useful whenever you are trying to graph and identifying your slope and y-intercept. So the first part of our video is that we will do this one. We will rewrite the following equation in the form ax plus by is equal to c. And I have here 1, 2, and 3, 4 examples. We need to follow this, ax plus by is equal to c as your standard form. And in number 1, we are given 3x plus y minus 4 is equal to 0. So as you can see, in comparing these two forms, your ax here is 3x, your by is y, and your constant c is not in the proper place. It must be placed on the right side of the equation, on the other side of the equation. So what, what we need to do is to eliminate negative 4. So, simple step is that you need to add 4 on both sides of the equation. The reason why you need to add 4 is because we need to eliminate negative 4. So how? Negative 4 plus 4 is equal to 0. So it will be eliminated once you added 4 and 4 on the other side of the equation because we are applying addition property of equality. So, after adding 4 on both sides of the equation, simply copy 3x plus y and then zero, negative 4 plus positive 4 is 0, so we will not be required to write the 0, then equal to 0 plus 4, which is equal to 4. And this is now the standard form of the linear equation. Now let's move on. To number 2. In number 2, we have x minus 2y plus 5. So as you can see, comparing these two equations, let's compare. Your ax or x is in the proper place. Your by is not in the proper place. It must be with the x. So you need to eliminate this 2y and bring it here on the other side of the equation. Then plus 5. This plus 5 or your constant is in the proper place. So what we need to do is to transfer 2y on the other side. So the simple step is simply subtract 2y on both sides of the equation. Now what will happen is that x minus 2y is simply x minus 2y. We cannot subtract them because they are unlike terms. Then copy your equal sign. And this 2y plus negative 2y is 0. So it will be cancelled out. What will remain here on the right side is simply 5. So this is the standard form of the given equation. x is equal to 2y plus 5. We have x minus 2y is equal to 5. I, um, you can easily identify here the value of a, b, and c. Eh? Pero hindi natin siya isasama. Now let's move on with number 3. Yung ginawa natin dito sa number 1 and 2 are the proper way applying the property. Pero para makita nyo rin shortcut, yung isang way na ginagawa ko, 
which is yung transposition method, papakita ko siya sa number 3 and number 4. For number 3, uh, for number 3, we have 4y is equal to 10 minus 5x. So, comparing these two, your ax is not on their proper place. Dapat nasa left side siya. Your by, your 4y is on the right proper place. Your constant ay wala sa proper place. So, we must remove this or transfer negative 5x to the other side. So, gagamitin ko na yung transposition method. Ang ginagawa lang naman dun, you will transpose or ililipat mo lang siya. Remember, when you are doing transposition, transposition method, guys, um, after transposing it, you need to change the sign of the term. Here, we have your negative 5x. What you need to do is when you transpose it, it will become positive or simply 5x. Then, copy 4y. Inuna natin sulat si 5x because in our form, ax must be the first term. Okay? After transposing negative 5x to the other side, I will not you I will now copy equals 10. And this is now the standard form of the third equation. Okay? Next, let's move on to item number 4. In number 4, we are given 2x plus y is equal to x plus 12. Right now, as you can see, we have we have the proper placing of 2x and then y. The main problem here is the x variable. So what we need to do is we will transpose x to the other side here. Transpose this because your constant is in the proper place. So all we need to do is to remove this on the right side of the equation. We have 2x, copy 2x. This positive x will become negative x. Then your plus y is equal to 12. So what happened is that we removed the variable x or the term x on the right side and it is transferred here on the left side. Now we have 2x minus x and that is simply x. Then copy your plus y is equal to 12. And this is now the equation. Now in the next part of our video, we will convert uh, give, uh, given to li uh, the given linear equations into variables into the slope intercept form y is equal to mx plus b. Now let's go with the next part of our video. We need to transform each equation to y is equal to mx plus b or in other words, slope intercept form. So let me remind you that your m stands for the slope and your b is your y intercept. So what we have here is the first equation x plus y is equal to 4. What we need to do here is to follow this form y is equal to mx plus b. As you can see in this form, y or the variable y is isolated from the rest of the terms of the equation. So here, the main problem here is that your x is not in the proper placement. So what we need to do is to transpose this one. We will use transposition na lang, eh, to the other side of the equation. So what will remain here, sa left side, is y. Then equal to, from x, you have your negative x plus 4. Okay, this is now the slope intercept form. And by the way, sing it na rin natin or sama na rin natin. Uh, we can identify the value of m and the value of b. Here, your slope m is the coefficient of x. So, puntahan natin to. As you can see, we have here a negative x, meaning your slope is an invisible negative 1. For your y-intercept, 4. This is your y-intercept. And if your teacher will ask you about the coordinates of the y-intercept, automatic, these are the coordinates. You have 0, 4. Your x is always 0. So let's move on. We have here 2x plus y is equal to 3. So what we have now is we need to eliminate 2x on the left side, meaning we need to transpose this to the other side. So what will remain here, sa left side natin, is y is equal to negative 2x, then plus 3. And this is now the slope intercept form. If you will be asked for the value of your slope, which is the coefficient of your x variable that is negative 2 and your 
y-intercept is definitely the constant, which is 3. Or, kapag tinanong ka about the coordinates, that is 0, 3. That's it for number 1 and number 2. Let's move on with number 3. For number 3, the main problem here is the 5x. So what we need to do is transpose this to the other side of the equation on the right side. Huh? What will remain is negative. Huh? Negative 2y is equal to negative 5x plus 8. So this now, this uh, this equation is not yet in y is equal to mx plus b. What we need to do is to remove negative 2. So we will divide both sides of the equation by negative 2 or each term by negative 2 by negative 2. So we can cancel this out, cancel this out. This is y is equal to negative 5 divided by negative 2 is positive 5 over 2. So that is 5x over 2. And for this one, 8 divided by negative 2 is negative 4. So as you can see, fraction, may fraction tayo, but walang problema dyan. This is now your slope intercept form. Now, kung tatanin ka uli about the slope or the value of slope and the y-intercept, simply get this coefficient 5 over 2 as your slope and your y-intercept is negative 4. Ganun lang siya simply guys. Now, for number 3, uh, for number 4, we have 4x plus y is equal to negative 11. This will serve as your assignment, guys. Comment nyo lang. Comment your answer. What you need to do is to comment what is the slope-intercept form, the value of m, and the value of b in this given equation. So I hope guys you learned something from this video on how to rewrite the equation or a linear equation into variables in standard form ax plus by is equal to c and transform each equation in the slope intercept form y is equal to mx plus b. So if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe but hit the rin yung bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me, it's Shurgon. Marami marami salamat. Bye-bye.